Now everybody scream, no respect to the ex No respect given What's up YouTube, it's NG, the Neon X, and I'm back. Today, I would like to welcome all of those who are finally able to get their hands on a Surface Duo. Now, this device, as I've said many times before, is pretty much the future of mobile devices. If you have been fortunate enough to get one of them, you might be a little overwhelmed by the dual screen setup of the device and all of the various functionality the device has over other more common devices, like say your single screen Android devices and your iOS devices. This little video is my way of saying welcome to the family and let me hold your hand as you take your first steps on the surface. So after the initial setup of the Surface Duo, the first thing you will want to do is learn exactly how to navigate the device. So to navigate the device is quite easy like with with most common devices you simply swipe in the direction that you want to go depending on how many pages you you have open the duo will cycle through them all when you get to your first page and you swipe again you will come into this uh, handy uh, glance area as I call it now when you swipe all the way to the right uh, you do not get a glance area. It just stops wherever your last uh, page is and whatever's on that last page. Now, now, instead of having to go all the way back to the, the left to get to your main, uh, to get to your home screen, you, you just do a quick swipe up from the apps bar down here, and it will take you right back to your home page, and you'll you won't have to flip through however many pages you have between the beginning and the end of your service duo. Now, when the device first came out, a lot of people were having issues uh, with the swipes and all of that getting into the app menu and the pull the pull down shade because it wasn't responding as it should. But it wasn't so much that it wasn't responding, it's that they were swiping from the wrong area of the screen. To go into your apps menu, you simply touch the device anywhere above this little bottom chain of apps and you swipe up. The apps menu should pop up just fine, no issue whatsoever. And when you're ready to go away, you simply grab the top and you swipe it down. Get Now to get into apps that you may have open already, it's a grab from here and you go up and just hold. It will pop up and here you see I have Edge open and have Messenger open. Just click on the one you want and it comes up just fine. Let's say you want to open something on the other screen. It's the same thing. Nothing hard, nothing too complex, but it's all about how you actually swipe with the device. Now, if you want to get out of all of these, you simply grab the little bar here with your finger and you swipe up. As you can see, it's an easy gesture to get used to, but you must do it accurately. Because if you don't, you might just move it to the other side. Something a lot of people were doing when the device first came out. So unless you want to change the window that the app is in, you must swipe straight up. If you go up and you hold it, as you can see, I can hold the app, I can man maneuver the, the app. Now, if you want to manipulate the apps that you have, let's say we go into news. Um, with a quick pull up from the bottom, you're able to move the news app around from window to window as you as you see fit. You'll notice that the bar in the middle doesn't 
obstruct my movement of the app. I do have a, a screen protector on, but sometimes that gets in the way. Well, unless you have one, the bar in the middle should not be an issue at all. So if you want to go from screen to screen, it really does hold the little bar down there and you move it where you want it to go. Now, being that this is a service duo and you are able to utilize both screens for a single app, if you want to uh, span it, as they say, you move the app to the middle of the screen and you will see the white box open up telling you that yes, this app is going to open on both screens. You simply re release and there you have it. You have now spanned the app to both screens of the device. This is where the Duo really shines. As apps that were made to, to do this really know how to divide the information in such a way that you get the most out of it. A good example of this is the Microsoft News app. As I scroll through the different stories, know how this side doesn't change at all. But when I press on a, a story on this side, this side will change to allow me to delve deeper into the story itself. And that is pretty much how the Duo acts when you span a, an application or a website. One side allows you to navigate, while the other will most times have something more in depth on the story you're trying to look into. Does every app act this way? No, but it's one of the more useful ways the Duo can help you be more efficient in your work. Now, when you are done with your apps being spanned like this, or let's say you want to open up something completely different on the other side, it really is just a matter of doing the sweep up with your finger on, on the bar, putting the application where you want it to go. Now, now to go into your pull down menu, it's simply touch the top of the duo here within the black and you pull down. All of your notifications and certain widgets as you can see will be right in here. Of course, you're able to swipe things away just as easily as they come in. So this here is very important to learn how to get to and navigate as almost everything comes through here. Things that are running in the background, you can see it here. It will give you options on how exactly uh, to use them, to turn them off. As you can see with a quick swipe to the other side, the settings for my uh, smart lock app came up. So it's good to know how to get, to get into this app. Some people again had issues when the device first came out because they were trying to, to drag down from the middle. When you drag down from the middle, you get a search. You don't want to drag down from the middle if you want to get into your pull down bar. You grab the top and you just drag down here. Very easy and nine out of 10 times it will work. Now, as you saw, I just did the search. With search, you just swipe, swipe down on the empty screen and you, you will be able to go into a search. And this search is not just for what's on the phone. It's also for what's online. So if you were to search up, let's see, um, I just type in GER, see what would come up. And here we have a German Shepherds. So if you were trying to find out information on something relatively quickly, a quick search down and you were online or you're able to search online, whatever it might be. Very useful in a pinch. Someone has a question you don't know, boom, the Duo is able to do it for you relatively easily without you having to go into a sec secondary app, like maybe the Google app or whatever the case might be. Quick swipe down, search bar open, and it will search your entire device and the web for, for whatever it is you typed in. Now to initially navigate the device, you go through a series of swipes. Um, to, if you swipe from either side of an application, like so, you will get 
an arrow that comes up and will have you go back to the previous screen. For example, if I go into Chrome, and I swipe back, I go to the page before you know, Chrome is saved. If I go into Edge, it is the same thing. If I swipe from this side here, I go back to where I was before. So it's quick swipe ins from any any size as long as a application is open to, to go back through your open apps and windows on the device now some people aren't really for the swipes and all of that when it comes to the duo and there's a way to adjust that if you go into your settings and you go into search Type in gestures and you will come up to this here. Click on the gesture button and it will bring you to here. And you see adjusted flash on its own to let you know this is where you go to uh, dress those. Then from here you go into your gesture navigation. And as you can see here, it brings you to a window where it sh shows you exactly how to move around from screen to screen and everything else. Now, if you aren't one for all of the swipes and holds and things of that nature, you can switch to a three button approach. Each of these buttons represent uh, the gestures of the swipes for example to swipe home you just press the middle button there's no swipe in it it's a quick press and it's actually somewhat easier than the swipes especially when you're just getting used to the functionality of the phone i myself love the three button approach and for most of my time that i had the phone i did use this three button approach to navigate the device now with the three button approach to get to the app switch area for all for all the apps that you have stored up you simply press the square there and you're able to go through all of the apps that you have uh press on an app it will op open up uh if you want to go to something else press on the square again press on it and it will open up this bar here is really just for, for you to grab on it and have it span or move over to the next page there is no more using the bar to swipe up and get rid of it if you want to get rid of an app you just press on the bar and it goes away um as far as nav navigation let's say on on the, the web you press the back one let's go into phone arena a site that i do frequent uh you just press back there's no more swiping it from each side now there are pros and cons to both of these uh, approaches to navigation. Oh, one one of them being when you're in the three button mode. If you look at, down here, once I switch it off, you actually get more screen real estate. There isn't much, but it is there. You have more screen to actually use for your nav application for you, whatever you are doing when you turn back on if you look again you get less because this little bar of apps here needs to move up to accommodate the three buttons at the bottom so that is something to think about uh, when you decide which means of navigation you want to use also when you go when you have the just your navigation on it's more natural when you're hold hold holding the phone to simply swipe in and out with your thumb if i go into 
Spotify here. It's just easy for me to swipe in and swipe back. Because my thumb is all ready here. Swipe back. It's just an easier thing to do. But now, if I go here and I, I use the buttons, it's not as easy. Because now I have to release the phone and press. Or I guess I could move my thumb down there and move my thumb down here. But it's not as natural a movement. Simply because my thumbs are already up here when I'm holding the phone in this particular posture. Now the button uh, configuration does not uh, change the way you pull down from the top to get to your note notification shades and things like that. It just does change, like I said, the overall system navigation of the device. So regardless of the posture you're in, whether it be the main, pos main posture here, uh, the tablet posture as I call it, or the phone posture where it works more like your everyday uh, mobile device. Uh, the navigation works the same. You swipe around to get to your different pages. You swipe up to get to your app draw. You swipe down to get to your pull down menu. And if you happen to be in an app, it, 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 it still swipe in from, from any side at that to get to your different apps. Now, the only posture that you have to be careful of you have to put a little bit of thought into when you go into the work posture or the mini laptop posture or the vertical tablet posture, how, however you want to call it. When you're here, it, it doesn't go side to side. In this vertical posture, it swipes up and down. Now, you would think that you would pull up from the bottom to get into your app draw. But in essence, it still lives right here. You pull in from the side, which technically would be the bottom of the service duo, get into your, your apps. You do scroll through them the same way, up and down. But now you pull them in from the side, and as you saw, I, I pulled in to get to the back uh, swipe and it went away. This is the only part of the duo where the swiping or orientation is a little awkward. You just have to train yourself to better be able to use it in this posture here. But for the most part, at least with my use, I'm normally using the duo like this and on occasion like this. So, there's something to be aware of as you are le learning to use your new device. With that said, my name is NG, the Neonex, and navigating the Service Duo, this is what I'm into.